Hello, Hernandez students. It's Mrs. H once again. Um, we are here for the second lesson for IB Flex for this week. Um, yesterday, we started talking about service learning um, and what we do as IB students um, to increase our service learning both inside and outside of the classroom. Um, today, we're going to continue that. Um, and we're going to start off today with a quote. It says, you have the power to turn this tearful world into a cheerful one. The question is, will you? Um, and I know a lot of students that are um, in middle school think I'm only one person. I can't do a lot to help. But what we need to recognize is sometimes we can, and it's only finding um, that source and that passion within you in order to do so. So we'll talk a little bit more about that today. Um, if you remember a couple months ago, um, we had some lessons regarding the sustainable development goals. Um, and there's an organization in the world called the United Nations. Um, and the United Nations is an organization where their focus is to increase the quality of life all the way around the world for many, many, many people. Um, and that's wherever that they're struggling in order to um, provide basic needs for their families. Um, so anything from, if you'll look at this chart that's in front of us, anything from no poverty to good health and well-being, um, reduced inequalities, um, they focus on life below water, life on land, peace and justice, um, uh, gender equality, all of these things that are really important, but obviously cannot um, uh, be accomplished just with one person's um, goals. And so what we've done is we are using the sustainable development goals and we're using number six, clean water and sanitation. Um, and if you've seen in the main hallway in Hernandez, um, we have a bulletin board um, that focuses on well aware. And that's the nonprofit that we are partnering with this year. We're focusing on clean water. We're focusing on sanitation, on learning more about well aware and their mission. Um, and we're going to um, have a couple of things that we do this spring um, in order to help out well aware. All right. So yesterday we had one profile of um, a young student who saw the needs around them and they were able to help. And so here's our profile number two. It's called Hoops of Hope. And this is Austin Gutwine. How it started. Austin Gutwine was nine when he watched a video that showed children who had lost their parents to AIDS. Realizing he could make a difference, he decided to shoot basketball free throws on World's, World AIDS Day, 2004, to raise awareness. His goal was to shoot 2057 free throws, one for each child that would be orphaned that day while he was in school. With the help of friends and family, Austin collected almost $3,000 to provide hope, food, clothing, and shelter to eight orphaned children. Hoops of Hope is now the biggest basketball shoot-a-thon in the world, and Austin has managed to raise over three million for children left behind by AIDS. Um, and if you'll notice in this story, it's not like he just woke up one day and said, oh, Hoops for Hope, and I'm going to do this, and instantly overnight it was a, a, was a success. Uh, what he had to do is he had the thought, but then he acted upon that thought in a small way that then other people were able to join and then help him out. So thousands of participants and teams from around the world now take place in the event that helps children who are in need. So this is um, a short video that talks about that. I was nine years old and I saw a video talking about this little girl over in Africa who lost her parents due to AIDS. She lived in southern Zambia and had an orphanage. And I think for me, it was just at that moment where I saw somebody who needed help and my heart broke. And instead of just sitting there and, and thinking, wow, I, I hope somebody does something about it, I decided, okay, I can't sit here any longer. I have to do something about it. When he makes his mind up to do something, it's, it's kind of already done. He was nine, and we had seen this video, and he's like, Dad, I'm going to go do something else. But really, as a nine-year-old, I'm just saying, I like to play basketball, I like to help people, let me use that. That's how it started. That's simple. When I was going to 
to shoot 2,057 free throws, one for every child orphan during my school day, on a 10-foot rim, and it was, it was crazy. And then you wanted to each free throw to represent one child or one dollar that would be going over to that child in Africa. Really, hoops of hope started to blow up. For them, just to see that there's somebody that's near their age that cares about them. That there's somebody on the other side of the world that has compassion and mercy and love. And that's what he did. I mean, he set out to help one child that kind of evolved. So good to see you, all right? And just helping other people. I think that's the beauty of it. Hoops of Hope has raised over four million dollars so far. And to be honest with you, I still kind of picture myself. All right. So again, um, Austin didn't expect for it to take off like it did. Um, I like this video because it shows him later on reflecting back what it was like. And again, he was nine. Um, there are others around him that believed in, in him and helped him make it possible. And so think about those also who um, surround you and those people that could help you um, make some of your ideas possible as well. Um, and so again, you'll see this around the school. Your teachers have this on one of their t-shirts from last year. Um, and again, as IB students, we focus on service learning and we want you guys to think globally. Um, look at what's going on around the world. Be aware um, of what's going on around the world and your part in that because all of us are human even though we're very diverse and we've grown up in different areas um, with different circumstances, what can we do to act locally um, to help make someone's um, life a little bit better? Or even if it's just being kind to someone else um, where you are in your local sphere. All right, so this year we've talked about this is our service partner, well aware. Um, and if you remember from the video that we watched a couple months ago, um, our main person that started well aware, um, she was pulled in, cattle were dying in the communities, and they wanted to know what they could do to um, make sure that if they replace the cattle, that the cattle wouldn't continue to die. Um, and she discovered that it was because of lack of water and the water that was available was, wasn't was clean, it was diseased. Um, and so she said, what we need to do is we need to go in there and we need to make sure that they have clean water. Um, and so this is 10 years down the road. She started well aware um, and now she has entire teams underneath her. Um, we have lead engineers, we have hydrogeologists. Um, they have so many people who help make it possible. And then they low or they figure out where the water is next to the community or near the community and drill for the water. Um, and so what's really cool is we're partnering with them to be able to help them with their goal of getting clean water throughout the world. Okay, so Hernandez students um, are learning about the importance of clean water and water quality, um, water issues and diseases for, from lack of clean water, raising money to assist with well aware in water projects in Africa. This is coming up um, in about a month. Um, we're going to be focusing, and there will be more um, at the first of next month, where you'll learn more about Well Aware, um, about our fundraiser shower strike that we're going to be um, participating in. The Austin Pro nonprofit Well Aware and its mission to assist with increasing access to clean water around the world. Um, and so again, um, look at the the website. Um, and the website is amazing. You can see the drills, you can see the water spewing up, you can see the stories of all of the students and the villages that they have helped. Okay, and this is Sarah Evans. She's the one that was the lawyer, the one that quit her job being a lawyer and started well aware. And so this is her and then one of um, the communities that they have helped. Um, again, we've talked about their website. Um, this is one aspect of their website. So if you go, there's a lot of stuff that you can look at um, 
and, and discover. So kids miss 400 million school days each year because of water related illness. Um, and so keep in mind when you're sick, when you don't feel well, um, you aren't able to learn that you have to go home and you have to take care of yourself. Um, but if that's each and every day, cause you don't have clean water, um, what can we do to help these students to be able to be in school and to, um, um, increase their chances of a better life. Okay, so how can you take action? Um, consider what you're passionate about. Remember Austin, he's in our profile number two. He was passionate about basketball and um, yet he was concerned about someone halfway around the world that have lost their parents to AIDS. And so you would think, what do those two things even have in common with each other? But he was able to find a way to take his passion, which was basketball, and turn it into something that he was able to help others. So ask yourself what you've learned about this year that has moved you, that has touched you, and you're like, you know what? I wish I could help in this way. Um, also read and watch the news and see what's happening in the world. <clears throat> Um, other ways you can open your eyes to opportunities around you. Remember, as IB students, we're thinking globally, but we're acting locally. So for acting locally, are there activities at home, school, church? Does someone you know already engage in a cause that you could support? Sometimes we don't have to start something new. Sometimes we can say, oh, I'm going to help um, if someone's doing, um, say, a uh, feeding uh, people who may need that food. Like if you go to um, uh, a local food pantry or something like that, they already are engaged in good and you just help out with what they're doing. Um, considering something that has made a difference in your life, maybe someone has helped you, how could you use that to help someone else? And then lastly, think of what your strengths are. What do you want to know more about? What do you want to be able to do? So talk to friends, talk to family, talk to your teachers. You can even come and talk to me. I would love to have that conversation. All right, we can accomplish great things with small actions. So all IB or International Baccalaureate students are service learners. Remember, think global, act local. Um, and so with that, Hernandez, that's it for today. Um, if you go to Schoology, for those of you in Ivy Flex, go to Schoology. Um, I have a couple of questions that you can use to discuss with your Flex class and then to fill out. So with that, Bulldogs, until next month, um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks.